And, uh, you know, what's your experience of Election Day? Uh, Professor Mark Crispin Miller is going to drop by, by the way, and say hi and talk with us. And Frida Birnbaum in the third hour of the program. About, and, and oh, and Barbara Boxer is going to drop by. So it's going to be an interesting day. We'll have a few people, uh, you know, uh, drop it in to say hello, as it were. And uh, let's see here. I had a couple. Oh, this is uh, the first year since... Uh, uh, presidential election in 50 years without the full right, full protection of the Voting Rights Act, thanks to five right-wing cranks on the uh, Supreme Court, one of whom is no longer with us, but the Republicans are doing everything they can to make sure that the court stays to the right. You've got uh, Jim Comey with his, you know, trying to put his thumb on the, on the scale. You've got 4,000 people in a voting, half-mile-long voting line in Cincinnati. This is a county... Uh, a precinct with 800,000 people in it, and in their infinite wisdom, uh, John Husted and, and uh, John Kasich uh, decided they should have only one early polling place. So you had a half mile long line. And what's so amazing to me, and then, you know, Greg Abbott down in Texas, he says, you know, we're going we're gonna to track down this voter fraud. We're gonna, and, they, and they sent people into, into the, and they joined up. Right, this is the government investigators joining up with partisan Republican officials and going into poor Hispanic neighborhoods and basically scaring the crap out of people, particularly older Hispanic people, by telling them that if, they're, if they try to vote and they're not legal citizens, they're committing a crime, they can go to prison. And, uh, and, and which is basically a way of saying, you know, we're watching you. And people get the they get the message and say, uh, you know, okay, I'm, I won't vote, even if they're totally legal citizens. You know, I get it. Okay, I'm intimidated. Not everybody, but if you can shave 5, 10, 20, 30 percent off, that's enough. So you've got voter fraud, which out of the billion votes cast between 2000 and 2014 happened 31 times. Oh, and there was that one Republican who was caught for voter fraud last week voting twice for Donald Trump. And because of that, you've got uh, nearly 30 states making it much, much harder to vote. Like I said, in Wisconsin, you got lines today at the DMV in addition to lines to vote because the Republicans in Wisconsin don't want you to vote, especially in Milwaukee. You've got so that's, you know, but so anyhow, there's voter fraud, there's voter, su there's voter suppression, which is part of what I'm talking about here, which is the voter ID laws, the closing early voting, clo you know, closing voting on Sunday for souls to the polls, um, uh, shutting down. There's over almost 900 fewer polling places just in the old Section 4 of the Civil Rights Act states that are closed today that were open four years ago? And we had long lines four years ago? They're going to do everything they can to say to somebody, you know, hey, you're, you're a, a working class person who's making 10 bucks an hour and you want to take time off to vote? We're going to make it cost you 100 bucks. You're going to have to stand in line for 10 hours. You, think, you still think you want to vote? That's the message Republicans are sending to to. In, in those states where they have control of the system. Now, once again, I mean, you know, and, and why this isn't the biggest story on television news, I sure as hell don't know. It blows my mind. I was, I was just watching MSNBC a minute ago during the break, and, and they're, they're showing this, you know, uh, bird's eye view from a helicopter of this long, long line of people waiting to vote. And nobody is pointing out that that long line should not exist. If that was an upper middle class white neighborhood, there would be no line like that. But it was a neighborhood, unless it was in a neighborhood where everybody voted Democratic in a state where the apparatus is controlled by Republicans, in which case there may well be a line like that, even in a white neighborhood, if they've identified it as a Democratic leaning neighborhood. And why, why, you know, it, we should start like a hashtag campaign. Media call it what it is, or media identify voter suppression. Maybe you have some ideas about how to say this. How do you say to MSNBC, CNN, 
obviously Fox News isn't going to do this. I mean, that's not even really, uh, that's, that's the propaganda arm of the Republican Party. But, and ABC, CBS, NBC, how do you get them to acknowledge that making somebody wait in line until one o'clock in the morning to vote when they showed up there at two in the afternoon is voter suppression? And the voter suppression is being done in this country aggressively for partisan purposes, regardless of what John Roberts says.